God had led the Israelites out of Egypt, and he was with them as Joshua led them into the promised land of Canaan. There, the Israelites lived in family tribes, 12 tribes in all. And God made a covenant with them saying, I will keep my promises, but this is what you must agree to. Never make a covenant with the people living in this land. Tear down their altars to their false gods. The Israelites had agreed and they were supposed to take over the land, but that's not what happened. After Joshua and the older generation of Israelites died, the Israelite children grew up and did not remember God or everything he had done for them. They did what was evil in the sight of the Lord. The Israelites fell into this, this cycle of sin and it went like this. First, the Israelites would disobey God and worship the false gods of the people living around them. They'd forget about the one true God. God would, would grow angry and he would, he would let an enemy king come in and take over the Israelites and the people would have to serve that king and they would suffer greatly. Then the Israelites would remember how good they had it when they loved and obeyed God. They would cry out to him, save us. God wanted the people to love and obey him. So he would raise up a leader from the Israelites to deliver them from their enemies and rule as a judge. The people would obey God as long as the judge was alive. But when the judges died, the Israelites would turn away from God and the cycle would begin again. Sin, oppression, repentance, rescue, obedience, and then all the way back to sin again. This is the story of the book of Judges. The judges saved the people from the consequences of their sin, but not the cause of it. God's plan was to one day send a true deliverer, Jesus, his own son, to be the king of his people. Jesus saves people from sin forever.